Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. Today we are going to be talking about classical conditioning in psychiatry. And with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and show your boy some love. Let's talk about conditioning first very uh, briefly. Conditioning is a very well-known theory in behavioral psychology and psychiatry, and there is a very long uh, definition for it, which to be honest with you, I don't care about. The TLDR version of this definition, however, is that conditioning is a process of linking a stimulus to a response. And that's very important because if you can understand what conditioning is, you can understand the types of conditioning. Now, there are two main types of conditioning. There are classical conditioning and there are operant conditioning. But today we are simply going to be talking about classical conditioning in this video. In the next video, we talk about operant conditioning. So let's talk about classical conditioning, folks. Classical conditioning has two main components. You have the unconditioned response to a stimuli, which is pretty much a natural response to a stimuli, something you would do normally when something happens. And then you have the unconditioned response, to, uh, sorry, then you have the conditioned response to a stimuli, which is the unnatural thing, or the unnatural response to a stimuli. Now, I know it's a little confusing because you see the unconditioned is natural and the conditioned is unnatural, but I think it's very important to understand that either way, regardless of whether the response is unconditioned or conditioned, the response in classical conditioning is going to be involuntary. And that's very important because that's going to help you distinguish classical conditioning from operant conditioning. If the, rea the reaction or the response is involuntary, they're not thinking about it, they're doing it without thinking, then it's probably classical conditioning. Now the example, the prime example for this is Pavlov's dog, in which Pavlov, the scientist from you know, a long time ago, who cares, had this little dog, right? That was his dog, man. Let's talk about the dog. All right, so Pavlov had this dog, which he realized every time he gave the dog food, every time the dog smelled or saw food, it would start to salivate. And no, this is not blood. The dog does not have rabies. This is just, just saliva. This is red saliva, guys. Anyways, the dog would salivate at the sight or the, the smell of food. Eventually, Pavlov started to ring a bell every time he gave the dog food. And what happened over time was that the dog decided to associate the bell with the sight and the smell of food. Now when Pavlov decided to take away this food and only ring the bell by itself, the dog still salivated. Which is crazy because normally you don't salivate at the sound of a bell. You would salivate when you're thinking about food, when you smell food, when you see food. So in this case, the unconditioned response or the natural response to stimulus was salivating at the sight of food. Okay, the, the, the stimulus was the, the sight of food, right? That was, the, that was the stimulus. And the response was the salivation. Okay, this was the response. But when he trained the dog, the conditioned response or the unnatural response was salivating at the sound of a bell. Normally, you don't salivate at the sound of a bell. So this became the stimulus. And the response still stayed as the salivation. But it's a very good example of how classical conditioning has two main components, the conditioned and the unconditioned response. Now, if you want another example, uh, it's the office has a very good example where Jim actually causes Dwight to salivate at the sound of his computer shutting down. Which I think was hilarious. Anyways, that's it, folks. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And when you do, hit that little bell notification so you can get notified every time we post a new video. And with that being said, we'll see you guys back here real soon. Thank you for watching.